Hey guys, it's me, David, and welcome back to another review. Today, I have the LEGO NASA Artemis Space Launch System, or SLS. Now, for those of you who have no idea what this rocket system is, this is the Artemis program, or this rocket is part of the Artemis program, in which, in hopefully a few years, this exact rocket will be bringing astronauts back to the moon for the first time since the 70s, way long overdue in my opinion. Hopefully I live to see it, fingers crossed. You know, NASA keeps on pushing things back. Artemis II is supposed to be planned to launch in September of 2025 and that following year in 2026, Artemis III is what will bring astronauts to the moon. Now Artemis I launched back in November, 2022. So this is a real rocket like actually flying up into space. It's not just like pretend or anything like that. So if you haven't been following the Artemis program, it's pretty awesome. I'll actually have a video to like NASA's YouTube channel. They have a great explainer video if you wanna know more about the rocket, how the Artemis program works and all that jazz. And hopefully if everything goes to plan in two years, this exact vessel will be bringing astronauts back to the moon. Now. What about the Lego set? <laughs> what are the specs on this? Well, this is gonna retail for $260. It has 3,600 pieces, so excellent price per piece ratio. It'll go on sale May 15th of 2024. I'll have a link down in the description to lego.com. It's affiliated and helps out the channel. So if you wanna go order it, definitely consider utilizing that link down in the description. Turning the box around will reveal that yes, all the modules you would expect that for the Artemis are here. So it does split up. You can see the Orion module, all that stuff. We'll go through all that here in just a minute minute in the end depth. But I think the coolest thing is this is the first like Lego space set to have the full on launch pad. It looks so good. It adds so much to this set. It's what I wish the Saturn V set had, though of course it would increase the price. But I mean, again, I'm very shocked of what you're getting here for $260. I haven't even built the set in. I mean, this is over two feet tall according to the box. So this is gonna be a big set. So with all that said, I do wanna thank Lego for sending this set over for review. And without further ado, let's go into the in-depth. So my first impressions of the Artemis SLS is wow, this is a sizable set, bigger than I was expecting. Now you won't find any regular minifigures or even micro figures in this set. So it's just the display piece, the rocket launch pad, as well as the rocket itself, the SLS. And then you of course have the Orion inside of the rocket. And we'll go through all of those details, but first let's go ahead and talk about stickers. It's an interesting set because there is quite a few stickers here, but at the same time, there's quite a few printed pieces that are specialized for this set. So it's, it's kind of half and half. It's a little weird. We'll come back to that in just a minute. Now next, what about the stability of the launch pad? When you pick it up, as you can see, this tower shakes quite a bit. It wobbles around and that's not actually a bad thing. Engineering 101 here, you actually want giant buildings to flex a little bit so that they don't seize under the uh, tension. And so that's exactly what the designer has done here with the Lego set, so fairly impressive. Other words, you won't have a problem moving this around your room or feeling like it's gonna topple over on you. So now moving on to the first functionality of the launch pad, you can actually remove all the different braces that are holding the rocket to it. And of course the actual Artemis rocket can go flying off the launch pad and you can enjoy some swooshing around your room. So you have the white room there at the top, then you have all the different connection points and all of them sway away just like the real launch pad. And it's very satisfying to release the rocket and pull it up. Now there's a lot to dissect here with the actual structural design that the designer chose for the launch pad. First off, you'll notice some like rail pieces there. And as we go up to the very top of the launch pad, you'll notice there is like an elevator shaft and even little doors intended right there, which is very cool. So on each side of the tower, you have one set of lines going up in light bluish gray. On the opposite side, you have a single unit in red, which lead up to the cockpit kind of area or the actual Orion module, as you can see, leading over to the actual SLS rocket. Overall, the design here is good. It's very accurate, but man, this was, um, I don't know how to put this, not difficult to build, but like tedious to build. I think that's a good way of putting it. This was one of my least favorite building experiences I've had with a Lego set in some time. And that's coming from the guy who really liked the Eiffel Tower build. Like I didn't complain about that, but I'm complaining about this one. Now moving on to the bottom side of the launch pad on the sides here, you have some different piping, you have railing on top, ton of little pieces there. And you even have a little indentation of where the stairs are for astronauts and crew to lead up to the very top of the rocket. Very cool. 
and there's nice indentations pretty much everywhere for this. The details continue even just looking straight down at the launch pad. The designer really went all out to cover all the majority of details that you can see from pretty much every angle, which is very impressive. Of course, you have these other areas attached near the rocket boosters. You have different uh, details like where these light posts are. So all the details that you would expect are definitely present for the launch pad. You know, we've been talking about details, but I just have to say when you take a step back from the bill and you just kind of look up, oh, it's so menacing. I love it. It looks so good from pretty much every angle in your room. And for those of you wondering, this is what it looks like when you remove the Artemis rocket from the launch pad. Now, something else I want to bring up is one fifth of the build, I would say, is the actual Artemis rocket, whereas four fifths of the build is the launch pad. It's actually a very quick build for the rocket and a very long build for the launch pad which honestly you wouldn't really expect. Now, taking a look at the actual Artemis rocket now, we're taking a look at the side boosters here, and as you can see, there's a mix between stickers and printed pieces. This is what I was referring to earlier. There's some printed pieces on some of the cylinders, and there's some stickers. It's literally half and half for the entire Artemis rocket. It is very strange that LEGO just didn't go all out and do printed pieces, though I'm sure that was a cost-saving measure. Still disappointing to see. So next, we get into the actual deployment of the rocket. So first off, we have the soft solid rocket boosters just deploying off the side of the main section. And then on the bottom side, you can see the four RS-25 engines as well as a different view of those solid rocket boosters. Now this next section of the Artemis rocket is something called the launch vehicle stage adapter represented by these dark orange pieces. After that, the bottom booster there is what's something called the interim cryogenic propulsion stage. Try to say that three times in a row. Next, we have the actual Orion module, and that can actually be separated from the rocket and put onto a dedicated stand that is included with the set. Now, this whole area is relatively small. You know, it's a small stand, a small module, but it needed to actually fit in the rocket, so it's all to scale. There is a printed piece on the very top there, and then we have some solar panels around it. It does look fairly accurate to the real Orion module. Now, if you do choose to display Orion by itself away from the actual Artemis rocket, LEGO does provide some extra pieces so that you can reassemble the module, including the launch orbit system at the very top. And this works. As you can see, it's not very elegant. And the whole process of this module isn't very elegant. The Saturn V definitely has this beat. But it's shown here exactly what I'm talking about. This whole blue bar pole with the red Technic piece, that has to be stored somewhere else if you're storing the actual Orion module in the rocket. So, you know, is what it is. Now, next, we have an information plaque on a 6x6 six six tile. Unfortunately, this is a sticker. I think it's crazy that the Artemis weighs 5.75 million pounds. Pounds, that's equivalent to a thousand SUVs. That's crazy. Lastly, we have a comparison. So first up, let's take a look at the Saturn V next to the Artemis SLS. And as you can see, they look pretty awesome next to each other. It makes me really want an actual launch pad now for the Saturn V, though it'd have to be all red. Seriously though, this looks so cool and it's kind of accurate. The Saturn V, I believe, is a lot bigger than the Artemis though. I don't know by how much. However, it does look cool regardless next to each Lego set. It would be cool if both are in scale. Let me know in the comments if that's the case. Either way, regardless of scale, they look awesome next to each other. Next, we have the International Space Station. So I think this is a pretty cool set. Maybe a lot of you also have this as well. And so this will hopefully give you an idea of a smaller space set next to this bigger version to give you an idea of the footprint that it kind of uses and how tall it really is. Lastly, just for fun, here's the Hulkbuster armor set. This was, I think, a $500 set, so crazy. And as you can see, the Artemis is so much bigger, and it really does make it such a good value at $260. So even though it's easy for me to sit here and complain about stickers, as well as the building experience, the overall package here is truly impressive in person. So at this point, I think it's pretty obvious that this set is an excellent value if you're simply looking at the price per piece ratio. 3,600 pieces, $260. That's kind of unheard of for a licensed IP set. You know, it is a collaboration between Lego and NASA. So that's great to see that you're getting such a great value. Obviously, you're getting a giant set. I mean, you can see how big it is just next to me right here. Obviously, we saw what it looked like next to the Saturn V and even the Hulkbuster armor, but... I mean, wow, it is a substantial build for a low, low price. $260 is still a lot of money, but when you look at other sets like Green Gods, then you look at the Avengers Tower, <laughs> I mean, those are giant, very expensive four to $500 sets, and you're getting basically the same type of size for almost half the price, which is 
nice to see. It's a nice change for a Lego set. So obviously if you already knew what the Artemis rocket was before you watched this video, I think this set is definitely for you. If you're into Lego space, you know, anything, whether it's NASA related or just classic space, I think you're gonna really like it. I also wanna mention that I could definitely see fans modifying the launch pad if they wanna take the SLS out and maybe put some type of other rocket, maybe the Saturn V, for example, you could modify this to build it taller, to build the base bigger. So I could see that as a nice fun possibility in terms of fans having more fun with it than just a simple display piece, but it does work really well as a display piece. Just my only con with this set is the fairly lackluster building experience. Normally I'm totally fine with repetition, but man, something about this build was just a little bit I don't know, off-putting than my, what I'm used to. I built a lot of Lego sets here on the channel, like a lot of Lego sets. And it's crazy when a set like this kind of stands out as being not fun to build. Most of the time they are. I enjoyed the Eiffel Tower, but I cannot say the same about the Artemis SLS. So if you can get past the building experience, I think you are getting a very fair value here. If you're into this, definitely pick it up. Again, it launches on, <laughs> launches on May 15th, 2024. Link down in the description. It's affiliated, it helps out the channel if you wanna order it when it comes out. Thanks again to Lego for sending this set over for review. Hope you guys have a great, wonderful day and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.